on our way into town to get a few stickers we are. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Well, we're heading into town here to pick up a few stickers somebody made for me. I'm gonna go this way and that way and the other way to get there because I wanna get myself a Tim Hortons coffee. Road closed. Oh, have a friggin' eye. Oh, dick. Oh, these boys are laying new water lines right here because I guess our water lines in Wyoming are asbestos. Now, I'm pretty sure they mean asbestos lined. I'm hoping they don't mean asbestos inside the pipe. Frig. Probably are. Just cock us right over. Oh well. It is what it is. It is. Now just so you know, the stickers I'm getting aren't stickers to give away. These stickers are more for just sticking on the back of the old Silverado. Because all it says on the back of my Silverado is Bilsif. I wanted to say life with Bilsif. So I got a sticker made up for that. And I got a sticker made up for Railroad Crossings Ontario and Lake Freighters and Boats. Because those are my other two channels and it's free advertising on the back of the truck. So why not? The only problem with that is if somebody doesn't like me, they'll wreck my truck. But I guess they're not going to really wreck my truck because I'm really not that bad of a guy. But you never friggin' know. You never friggin' know. It's kind of a shitty day out today. It's kind of cold out today. The wind's blowing off of the lake, so it's, it's just dick right over. And it's cloudy out, as you can see over there. It's not very nice today. I got you on a swivel type mount on the dash that I got from Jeff there from Planes, Trains, and Boats Online. Trains, Planes, and Boats Online. Boats, Trains, and Planes Online. One of those ones. I think it's the first one. Anyways, I got you that for that and this and that and the other thing. And hey, while you're over there doing that, don't forget short rail too. Another guy I normally talk to. Committed every day to doing train videos, those two guys. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm gonna stop at Tim Frickin' Hortons. I only had breakfast today, so I only have one meal today, so I'm doing good. Oh, dick. You know what, I'm just gonna get coffee once I get to Sarnia. I'm not in the mood for coffee, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna pass on that, actually. How you doing? Oh, look at that old S10. Hey, you don't see too many of them old S10s anymore. That's friggin' decent. What year do you think that is? 92-ish? 93-ish? Something like that. Definitely not an 80. The girl's too round. Ah, oh, she's in good shape too. Things fucking mint. So hopefully my audio is working better. My camera yesterday cocked up. And when I first started, the audio was really dicked over. So I'm hoping it's not dicked over this time. I don't understand why it's doing that. But you're never gonna know if this audio is cocked over because you won't see the video if the audio is cocked over. So if you're seeing this video right now, the audio was cocked over. Anyways, off we go to Sarnia. John Deere, everyone. I can't wait to get my blades for my John Deere to like try out the new bearing. Look at that one. Oh yeah. Just freaking throw the dish at us. I hate people that mow their lawn and throw everything up towards the road. Because if car goes by and you throw a rock. Like at least have your shoot down. What happened? Plane job. Oh yeah. Should maybe get a video of a plane taking off from there one day too. But I'm gonna shut up, get into town, and then I'll talk to you. We got some stickers. Hey, okay. life with Bill Siv. And they are friggin' huge, Captain. I guess I didn't need six inches, but uh, we got six inches. See, over exaggerating again. I thought six inches would have been too small, but again, six inches is more than you need. What's really going on? Might as well just get a horse as a boyfriend for God's sakes. Disgusting. Ooh. If I was a chick, I couldn't even imagine a cock that big coming near me. What the hell? Thing ain't designed to take something that big. And if it is, you're a huge bitch. Anyways, enough of the sex talk. That's a huge sticker. I got myself a cafe mocha because I'm on a diet, remember? So I'm thinking about getting myself a plotter. I guess they have one out there which is called the Cricket and it does, you know, little plot. But I don't know if I should get something that only takes up the 12 inches or not. You know, we're just talking about this. I guess size does matter when it comes to a plotter. We want about a 32 inch, I think. That way I can cut stickers sideways instead of long ways. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. And I'll see you in a few minutes because I'm going to get my cafe mocha. Well, we got home with my stickers and I've already put them on. Check out that self-promotion. You think you can see that coming? You got to self-promote yourself sometimes you do. But after getting those stickers, I've come to decide that it's time for me to invest a little bit of money into sticker making and t-shirt making. Everybody seems to be getting into it right now and i don't want to make it for other people i just want to promote my stuff so i figured i'd make you know rail across ontario friggin t-shirts and stickers and lake freighters and boat stickers and t-shirts and some life with bills of stuff so 
I've invested some money into some stuff and it should be coming soon enough and then we can uh, sit down and get going on this stuff together and tell me what you think and maybe my fans can give me some ideas because I always appreciate that. Friggin' right I do. But I don't know what I got here for a video for you, but I'm gonna see. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me, not doing anything I ain't doing. And uh, until next time, you know what to do for now.